welcome to today's vlog. I am at Orlando Harley Davidson. And joining me is my good friend, Giselle. Hello. How you doing? I'm great. Tell everybody about your bike. My 93 FXR Sport. Uh, it's an Evo. I love the Evo. She's a beauty. Uh, she's a little road weary, but I love her. She starts every time. I know that's right. I noticed you got Legend suspension on there. I do. Uh, Legends was kind enough to hook me up here. They I are the best. It. it has made just the most comfortable ride. They are the best. Yeah. So where are we going? What are we going to go do? Well, first we're going to go get a bite to eat. Something a little clean, a little delicious food. And then we're going to go hit up the local community garage, Standard Motorcycle Co. Link up with Jason Paul Michaels and maybe see a couple other riders while we're there. That is a, a good plan. So I got my boy Rue with me. Y'all see him down there. We're going to throw him on the bike and uh, we're going to hit this road. Greens and Grill, this is your favorite spot? One of my favorite spots to eat something clean so you don't feel terrible. Because you have a unique diet. Yeah, I do. I'm a vegan. A vegan? <laughs> yeah. They have vegan food here? They sure do. I think and I... they have meat for people like you. I could try vegan. <laughs> oh, really? I'll try vegan. Let's do it. It's an adventure. You're going to pick me up something good? Yes. Adventures and eating. Eating, adventure? All right, let's do it. Now I'm hungry. I know you're The pressure's on. Are you really going to eat whatever I design? Yeah, whatever you design, I'll eat. Okay. <laughs> this place definitely looks fresh. It is fresh. I only eat fresh. The freshest. Fresh to death. <laughs> so I'm not much of a vegan eater. Nope. But I'm going to try it. I know. I can totally admire that. A lot of people are so afraid of just eating plants. And you wouldn't believe that it'll sustain <laughs> you for life. Like, well. They, yeah. I don't know if it'll sustain me for life, but it'll certainly sustain me for the next hour. Okay, that's, that's all we need. <laughs> so beautiful. It is pretty food. Braised portobello, is that what yeah. that is? Yep. That's what this is? Yep. It's good. You should send a picture of your girl, she'd be so proud of you. She'll see the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit that was pretty good. <laughs> I feel light. I still, I still have energy. There's which hope is, for you yet. I still have energy. No, there is no hope now. <laughs> so Giselle's gonna bring me to a super hip motorcycle culture place, and we're gonna meet some rad people. And even your husband even works there, right? Yep, my old man. We're gonna go see him. So we have arrived. We are at the Standard Motorcycle Company. This is a super rad, uh, unique type of dealership right here in Orlando. And of course, we got Blockhead in the house too. If y'all don't follow him on YouTube, you need to. I'll put the link down in the description below for sure. Some really good moto vlog stuff. When I was trying to learn the moto vlog myself, I watched a lot of his stuff to get tips. So Blockhead is going to uh, set up my helmet so that I can moto vlog with him in his video. So he'll have a video of the day uh, to kind of match my video of the day. But let's take a look at what's in front of this building. I do dig the logo. Good job on the logo, guys. The Ural, if you guys have not seen these before, these things are super cool. Kind of old military style. They're actually two-wheel drive sidecar motorcycles. So that back wheel typically is also a drive wheel. These things are awesome. You can ride them through snow, all kinds of stuff. Beautiful Indian, old twin cam road king, with, and an old shovel, too. And I'm digging it, man. So far, some cool bikes. Check out this cafe racer. Yeah, my buddy built this. A Triumph? Oh, yeah, who built it? Justin Webster out of Gainesville, Florida. This place is sweet, man. I can't wait to get inside. I know. So they've got great coffee, and uh, it's even iced. I don't get iced coffee very often. So now that we got a little coffee, um, I'd like to bring you all over and introduce you to the owner. He's sitting right over here. All right, here he is himself. Uh. Getting your hair cut. That's it, man. Just, uh, you know, got tired of having to go somewhere else to get a haircut, so we just decided to open a barbershop. <laughs> that is phenomenal. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Jason Paul Michaels from Standard Motorcycle Co. here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, ambassador for uh, Indian Motorcycles, Progressive Insurance, Motul Oil, uh, Flat Track uh, Hooligan Racer. Just a dude trying to have fun with motorcycles. And, uh, Built a pretty cool place, I think, for people to come and do the same. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait to check this place out <laughs> and share it with y'all. I'm going to let the man finish his haircut, and we'll pick back up in a second. So, uh, I've had my coffee, but I think it's time to give Scooter a little drink as well. How you doing, buddy? Are you thirsty? You thirsty, buddy? There you go. Get you some. Go for it, buddy. Mm. 
what a great time for a shameless plug for the scooter trash water and food dishes collapsible. You can get them on my website, adamsandovalrides.com. They're cheap, they're fun, they're convenient, they're helpful for your friend. Okay, so the thing with, with Blockhead is, is, is kind of unique. He, uh, he doesn't like to show his face, so he's never shown his face. So he's actually going to be wearing this helmet well, uh, for the tour. I, you know, I, I had heard <laughs> that when he was a kid, uh, he, he, he wore a football helmet all the time. Oh, on the bus. And on the bus, the, everywhere. Uh, like, he was just, he was, he was like, a like, uh, yeah. like a safety blanket. You know, see, I heard, <laughs> see, easy, yeah. I heard he came from New York down to Florida. And go. Sense didn't want go. his face shown. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys, I mean, you all are friends with him. You know, any insight? I mean, what the, what, what gives? I still don't know what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> he wears the bed. In the room. shower, right? Come over, it's, it's on. He's on the couch. Hey. Let's talk about the shop, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you got, like, how many different entities in here? There's, it's, it's all one business, but there's a lot of things. And basically, we took everything that we love, and we crammed it into one building. Sure. So, first and foremost, motorcycles, that is the tie that binds. We have a full custom motorcycle shop. We perform customized service for vintage, special, unique, European, you know, custom bikes. Uh, we build race bikes, uh, super hooligan flat track bikes. And, but then we have a co-op garage. And so, you know, think of it this way, right? Think of it like a gym membership. You go to the gym, you've got all the tools, you've got all the equipment, you've even got personal trainers there. We have the same thing here, but it's for motorcycles. So you come in, you can do everything from change your oil to utilize all of our fabrication equipment. TIG welding, MIG welding, laser cutting, laser, you know, uh, CAD design. I mean, you can literally do anything here. Sandblast, powder coat, paint. We have access to all of that. So someone can come in who doesn't know anything, right? And they can learn. We teach people how to do stuff. We have educational workshops. We're getting ready to open another Long Beach uh, location in Long Beach, California, actually. This is pretty cool. This is this is really, really cool. And you've been open for about a year now. We've been open for a year. Uh, we took over the space two years ago. We spent a year building it out. Um, as you can see, everything is handmade. Um, literally, like every single peg under every socket was like hand cut. Um, that is cool. We're crazy, we're obsessive. Uh, but no, there's actually, there's. I have a theory you know, behind it, right? Um, you walk into most motorcycle shops and it's a very sterile environment, right? It's a lot of metal, it's very cold. And, and while that's cool, uh, I think that people, right, whether they realize it or not, they feed off of the energy of things that are around them. When you've got a lot of wood, especially recycled stuff, when you've got materials that you've found, like every piece in here has a story of where we found it, how we got it, but more importantly, this was all built by hand by our membership and our team, right? So 100% organic. Too cool. So we are standing right now inside the co-op space. We are. Yep. So, so you've got yeah. So this is the co-op. So we've got we've got five five lifts that are available for co-op members to use. You can come in. Uh, we're open from 11 till 8. Roll your bike up on the lift. Grab some tools from one of the stations and go to town. If you get to a point to where you're stuck, you don't have you know you pull the side cover off your bike and you you know, twist off a fastener inside. We can help you with all that. We've got mechanics on staff, we've got fabricators on staff. We're here all day, every day. We'll show you how to do it or we'll just do it for you. It's, <laughs> nice. It's the way it is. That's too cool, man. I love this space. Thanks, man. This I is a great space. It. We, um, like I said, you know, we, we built everything in mind for membership. Ease of use, cool space. Every location has like USB power. We got people that come in with their laptops and they watch YouTube videos and all yeah. stuff. Uh, and then back here though is the pro area. So this is where we work on our custom projects. Uh, currently we've got two vintage Honda 450s. Uh, this was a full custom build. Uh, it's a uh, modeled after a desert sled. So in the 60s and 70s, guys like Steve McQueen, Bud Eakins, they all rode Triumphs and BSAs, right? Mm -hmm. To do desert races. I love Hondas, I'm a vintage Honda guy. And I was like, hey, I want to build a vintage Honda desert sled. So everything on this bike kind of echoes and harkens to the past of desert sled racers, but it's a Japanese twin. But on a Honda platform. This is another vintage Honda that we're working on. There's some, the paint, you can see. Uh, Ooh, that's gonna be beautiful. Bombshell Deluxe painted this. Wow. I'm looking to get some work done by her. She's amazing. That's Mom, nice. So Brittany nice. And, uh, and Paul, they're like, they are unbelievable. What is it? Uh, Brittany and Paul. Brittany yeah, it's, uh, they're like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife team. But yeah, so, you know, the, the stuff that happens back here, uh, you know, is ten, tends to be like, you know, the professional, you know, paid type stuff. This is kind of like our mid-lounge area. 
So, you know, you're in here, you're hanging out, uh, getting, you know, getting your bike tire changed or working on your oil or whatever. I have a, a propensity to collect really interesting things. Like all the stuff that's in here is actually like my personal stuff. <laughs> so books, ukuleles, whatever, you know, uh, there's, all, there's all kinds of stuff. There's like a rotating library. You never know what you'll find. We got, we got Dice Magazine. We got Fast Company. We got the New Yorker. We got Hell's Angels book. And we got Dennis Hopper on the road. Too cool, man. Too cool. But yeah, so people. This is know, a comfortable space, man. This is like the this is the chill spot, uh, you know. And the weather's good right now, so we can have the door open. Um, then getting into like the cool part, I said, you know, we cut, we tried to mix all the stuff that we love uh, in, into one roof. So the motorcycles is obviously the the main thing. This is our barber shop. So we have a full Paul Mitchell, Paul Ranzo, uh Wella Pravana certified barber shop and salon. Uh, nice. Our uh, stylists and barbers, uh, uh, four of them are all certified educators with some of the top brands in the industry. Um, built all this out, kind of funny story, had no idea that there was going to be a barber shop here. It just ended up to work perfect. <laughs> it's cool. It's beautiful. Mm. It really is. It's, uh, you know, we just tried to, we tried to use what we had, make, you know, make, make as much count, right? Because this is, this whole thing's been self-funded. Yeah. So it's not, you know, and I don't have a lot of money, you know? I'm just a normal guy trying to get stuff done. I heard uh, that. You know, social media has an interesting perception about that. Yeah, sure <laughs> we'll enough. We'll get into that it. later, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, so then in this area here, uh, we're in the process uh, going through all the paperwork now. Uh, this is actually going to become a full bar. Oh. Uh, so a big U-shaped bar. Uh, during the day, it'll be all coffee, you know, barista station, stuff like that. You come in, uh, and then at night, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, we'll be doing events here. So doors rolled up. You can see we've got an outside bar. Uh, we do live music here. Uh, you know, we, we, we pack this place out. So space is constantly evolving. We're always changing stuff. We're like, people drop stuff off and we just were like, oh, okay, well, we'll integrate that, you know? And this uh, is uh, this is coffee on tap? This is, yeah, so this is uh, nitrous cold brew, uh, just like a keg would be uh, for beer, if you look down here. So we've got our kegs. Look at that. Uh, they brew coffee. This is Foxtail. They're kind of like the like the rad coffee here in town. So we okay. partnered with those guys. Uh, but yeah, it's it's nitrous uh, nitrous infused uh, coffee, just like a like a beer. Like Too all. cool. It's awesome. Up front, we've got uh, hey ladies. Primary salon area. Uh, so barber in the back, salon up front. Nice. Uh, as I mentioned, all of our girls are uh, either Wella, Pravana, or Paul Mitchell certified. Um, we've got some of the most talented people in the industry uh, that have come from traditional salons to be here because it's like a counterculture, I guess, beacon. Uh, Amen. Let's people kind of do what they want to do and be be themselves, but yet be different. You know. And back here, set up the office, creative think right tank. We can see uh, here's Chris, one of our creative dudes doing creative stuff. In addition to being the motorcycle shop and the barber shop and everything else, um, we also have uh, a micro creative agency here. So clients of ours, our you know Indian, Progressive, Motul, um, you know working with brands like American Flat Track. Uh, you know, so we have we have a unique perspective to create content, right? You know, we have guys like Chris that have you know come from the agency world, but yet are interested in the stuff that we do. So we work with brands, you know, for example, uh, Motul Oil, right? You know, we did a deal with them last year where we created three organic content pieces uh, for the Motul brand. It's a cool opportunity for us to work with brands and leverage all of our resources, you know, from a technology production perspective. So yeah, man. That's, this is uh, awesome, man. That's the, that's the long and the short of it. This place is like so right up my alley, y'all. I'm so glad I got to make it out here and share it with you because um, this is innovative. This is this is industry changing type stuff you're seeing happen right in front of you. So I'm excited, excited to be out here sharing it with you with with real real riders. Both of these guys, man. You know, these are people that are from inside the industry. They're trying to change it from the inside out. Absolutely, yeah. I appreciate you guys stopping by today. That's sick. If any of y'all are ever in Orlando, please come by Standard Motorcycle Co. Get a cup of coffee, get a haircut, grab a PBR, whatever. We're here. Woo! I'd be disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> All right, brother. You got such a rad place. I, my friends need to come out and yeah. find our mark. So Absolutely. Where come should on. it go? Come on in.
this is uh, this is gonna go where I spend most of my time, which is in front of the coffee, right here with the fox tail. Rock and roll. Sick. Look who arrived, my buddy Seth yeah. Petrozelli. Finally, man. after how long you've been asking him to do this? Been too no, long, long, man. I've been asking you to do this. No, 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 man. You got a, you got a new motorcycle. I was like, Seth, you got to come ride with me. But he's always busy at his gym, the jungle right here in Orlando. You got to check him out. But let's see what you got for a bike, brother. This is a 2016 Victory Gunner. Did you have that painted? I, did, I actually did that. No, I didn't do that myself. I was going to lie. <laughs> So, one of my sponsors actually did that for me. A really cool guy. Orlando, his name is actually Orlando. Cool, man. Uh, he, did, he does all my Halloween costumes and stuff like that. So oh. he, did the, he did the bike too. The cool. Silverback Mobile. The Silverback Mobile. The thing is, this, oh, I this, see this, it in this, there. this little guy looks like he's kind of like flashing a little. You see a little Silverback butt right there? Oh, uh, yeah. You got the Silverback butt. <laughs> so, cool, man. So y'all are going to come out and ride with us today? We're going to ride. We're going to check out the uh, bike night. It's going to be fun. Should be fun. And I'm still going to ride your... Okay, let's just do it. I'll just ride your damn bike already. She keeps pushing me to ride this bike. I'm just, I guess I'll have to. Oh yeah. There's uh, the speakers in there. Put speakers in my house. So you can hear me. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? They clear your ears? Yeah, I got it. Yeah? You just stick it in a little bit. <laughs> And your bike is stolen. Love oh, it's it. okay, but you got a little you got a little dog over there and uh Adam, when you edit this, I know how to find you. Ooh. Treat her right. That's my baby. <laughs> You're like, I got a little scooter hostage. I know scooter's like all upset. <laughs> like where'd dad go? I hear the good thing about my bike is I hear it being ripped. <laughs> You can keep the suspension. I love it. It's clean, dude. Yeah, that was fun. She said she'll give it to you if you give her a scooter. Sorry, doll. Didn't say Never. that. But I said a lot of other shit on there that you need to cut out. <laughs> oh no, it's all gonna air. It's all gonna air. And we are in uh, back at the parking lot here at Orlando Harley Davidson. We got the whole crew, all the bikes. Oh, did I get you in there? No, man, I was jumping real big. Oh, you were jumping big? Blockhead, we just did a moto vlog uh, where we talked on our helmets as we ride down the road. He's an expert at that. Go check him out. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description to his page. Make sure you like it. But um, we talked about some interesting things there you might enjoy. So we're gonna head out to a bike night, man. Everybody's together here. I think we're gonna pick up a few more bikes and roll out. Until then, you ready? Oh, 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 oh,
Seth, this is what you need to be riding, dude. Yes. Now that's the Seth machine. I'm gonna trade mine in. This is gonna be the next one. That should be it right there, buddy. This is one of your hangouts, huh? This is my old stomping ground. No, no. I actually live right down the street from here, so I come here like quite often. Oh, cool. What a dope place. Yeah. Got a little retail spot. Oh, I can see why this place is having a bike night. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's sick. Man, what is this? I think my next cross country tour should be on that. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. It's purple, bro. Ooh, I like the purple. This has just been a day of the raddest bike stuff in Orlando, man. Bike culture is deep here. Have you ever seen Mad Max Fury Road? Of course. So you know the flaming guitar, right? That prop? Of course, yeah. So Michael Ullman, got you. He works with Madhouse Motors, but this is like his art. Oh, really? Yeah, so the guy that built that guitar for the movie, this is his art, and that too. That's some beautiful art, man. Yeah, they just, I mean, it's oh, this set. Look at this. Doesn't it have that Mad Max feel? That's your kind of ride, brother. He has some of the best riding shots I've ever seen. That's a cool shot. I need a place like this at my campground. Y'all with me? I definitely need a place like this at my campground. That is your kind of bike. That is, right? So sassy. Go Woo. fast, cheap. <laughs> okay, so this. So on that note, I have to end this vlog. I just don't think there's any better way to end it. All right, Seth. Hey. Hi and bye. Wait, Hi and bye. We're we leaving. This is it. We're leaving. That's it. Night. Yeah. Can I give him a shout out to my, my so I get some more followers? I got you in there already, but go ahead. You don't need any more. Yeah, I do. I need more. Just look post at my, more pictures. At of Silverback band. Seth. Check me out, please. Do it. Okay, do it. Yeah. Alright guys, remember, we're not quitters, we are the Americans.